what happens when ethical violations are detected in research. I don't know if you've heard of the word retractions. I think all researchers should know what this word means. A retraction is when a published paper is withdrawn from a journal. So it's, it happens to published papers. So sometimes researchers are under a lot of pressure to publish or perish. And once they've published something, they think, well, that's it, that's done with, and now they have to move on to their next publication. But sometimes when problems are found in research, uh, in research projects, the papers that have come about as a result of those projects are questioned and they can be retracted. They are uh, marked as retracted papers on the journal's website and they are, the retraction notices are issued in print issues of the journal as well. Now, retractions are a really bad thing. Retractions that are the result of fraud or misconduct. Retractions harm a researcher's publication record. Think about it. As a researcher, you're probably building your publication record. Now, you don't want any of those papers to be retracted uh, because that is, that's uh, a black mark on your publication record. And in severe cases, retractions can cost researchers their jobs and even their careers. So it's a very serious thing. And it's at least something that researchers should know what the word means, retraction. And they should do what they can to avoid having any retracted papers in their publication record. Here's an example of uh, an ethical violation spanning years. Uh, a scientific misconduct investigation led to the retraction of between 15 and 17 papers that were published over a seven year period and also to the termination of one of the scientists in the research project who by the way has had to leave his research career altogether and find a job in a completely different industry. So this was not only, uh, it's not only a case of retractions and of somebody losing a job but also uh, the, 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 the loss to the research project. So many years were spent in developing uh, a new kind of treatment for cancer but all of that work was lost or it was tainted and maybe the others in the research group had to start from scratch. And here's one of the uh, papers that was published by this research group. It's uh, in, a, in an Elsevier journal, a good journal, and you can see uh, the word retracted appearing in capital letters before the title of the paper. And there is also a link to uh, the retraction notice. Uh, so this is also an example of how uh, a retracted paper is presented on the journal's website. Here is an example of uh, a retraction due to plagiarism. And this uh, happened with a paper published in a journal called Bioinformation. And uh, if you read the notice carefully, you'll see what it says that uh, portions of the paper were taken directly from another published paper. So this, uh, this kind of wording means that uh, uh, plagiarism has taken place. I took the screenshot just a few days back, but the paper was published many years back. Retracted papers are not pulled down from the journal. They always exist on the journal's website along with a very prominent retraction notice so that future readers of the paper or, or people who come across the paper in the future know that this paper has been retracted and therefore they should be very careful about uh, using the paper in their own work. So. Uh, these days, such misconduct investigations are becoming high profile and the results are announced to the public because even the public wants to know what is happening with the research that indirectly they have funded through their uh, taxpayer money.